Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 252. Oh my, do we have wonderful products for you today. We have products from Find It Trading. We have, and they're, they're overseas. We have products from Wow Glitter. We have products from Tonic Studios Nouveau. They're diamond inks. It's a hybrid ink. It's beautiful. I have got Tombow markers that we're going to be playing with and Marvi Yoshida gold pins and copper pins. Oh my goodness gracious. This YouTube is packed full of happiness. Yes, it is. Now, I am taping this YouTube a little bit early, so I can't announce winner, winner, chicken dinner yet. Why? You haven't had enough time from YouTube number 251 to post your comments. You're, <laughs> by the time I'm filming this now, you're watching that one and posting your comments. So winner, winner, chicken dinner is going to have to wait until the next YouTube, but I promise I will come right back to it. I also wanted to give you an update on the hop. See, I even had to remind myself that it's YouTube number 252 because I'm doing it early. And there's your hop update. <laughs> We are on or up to orders number 95300. So 95300 from the shop that did not hop. Only those orders that were purchased or placed during the shop that did not hop. So if you are order number 95299, or below, that means your order is upstairs being processed. And what that means is that the product is either being picked from the shelves, your order is being pulled and actually filled, your order is over in quality control, or your order is on the shipping rack, or it could be that your order is already shipped and is in your hands already. So we are now at 95300 and we are winding our way down from the shop that did not hop. And of course we have the new shop that did not hop coming up. <laughs> it just keeps rolling. And this year is even better than last year. I have to tell you, the deals that are coming through are amazing. But more about that when we talk about the shop that did not hop. I just wanted to give you your most recent update. 95300 or lower, you are in process. 95301, you'll be the next set of orders to go up. So we usually send them up 100, 200 at a time, no more than 200 orders at a time. That way not to overwhelm the team that is currently working on these orders. So now today, like I said, we have find it trading going on. I've got lots of beautiful things to show you. This YouTube class is for everybody. It's for the beginner, it's for the intermediate and the advanced crafter. If you are a beginning crafter, you want to watch this because I'm going to show you some beautiful products that are simple to use, cost effective, very reasonably priced, and you will be successful with it. From the moment you take it out of the bag, you're going to do beautiful things. But for the intermediate or experienced crafter, you may look at it and say, well, there's not much for me to do. Oh, but there is. Of course there is. And I'm not going to teach you experienced crafters anything today. What I'm going to do is remind you, remind you of what you could be doing to take these card kits and enhance them and make them a little bit more of your own to add a little zhuzh, a little personality. If you're a beginning crafter, you may want to do them just the way they come. That way you kind of get a feel for how, how crafting works and you feel accomplished when you're done. But an experienced or an intermediate crafter might want to add a little flair to it. And I guarantee you, for you beginning crafters, once you do a few of these, you're going to then want to add a little bit of flair to it. So they are a card kit, but don't have to be used as cards. They can be used for your embellishments on your layout pages. They can be used in mixed media. They can be used in altered art. There's a lot to be done with them. Now I am doing this YouTube a little bit early because we will have the store closed when I normally do the YouTube and we will be attending the memorial service of SMS girl Yvette. Got my bow on. 
and so today I thought was a good day to come up. I'm in a good space. I'm excited to show you how to do this, and I thought today would be a good day to come up and get this done. That way, over the next few days after the, you know, for the service and everything, I don't have to, I can't pretend to be perky. I just can't. <laughs> People will come in all the time who don't know me, and, but know me through YouTube. So you know me, but you don't know me. Meaning, you've never really met me in person, but we know each other, right? And they'll, they'll come into the store from wherever they traveled from, and they will, they will spend time in the shop, and then they'll come up and they'll say, my gosh, you really are just like you are on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> I really am. What you see is what you get. So I can't pretend. I can't I can't play to be perky. I can't play to be excited about something. I have to wait until I really am excited about something to do this. Otherwise, it's just not being honest. <laughs> it's just not being I I just couldn't I couldn't I guess what do they call it? Phone it in. You could, I can't phone it in. <laughs> so today was a good day to do this cuz I'm in the right frame of mind and I'm excited because I have all these beautiful samples next to me and the beautiful product in front of me. So I think we are going to start for today, but I wanted to explain to you why there's no winner winner chicken dinner. You're still watching YouTube number 251 and leaving your comments. So I can't pick winners yet. <laughs> we'll update you on 253. Okay, I'm going to tilt down. We're going to get started for today and I think you're going to have a wonderful time. Truly, I do. All right, down we go. Whoop, it's weird not having a winner winner chicken dinner. And I'm gonna tilt on in. Oh, tilt, 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 tilt. And tilt down a little bit more and tilt, tilt, tilt. And I guess I'm gonna move this just a little bit over to the side. Perfect. Okay, so how beautiful is this? How gorgeous is that? This is a dot and do card by Find It Trading and they are an international company. And you're gonna say, oh, I'm never gonna be able to do that. Look at that intricate pattern of those beautiful stickers. Well, I'm, I can't, you can. I promise you, but I want to take it more. We're going to do a little bit more than just what they're going to give you in the kit. We want to take it to the next level, but I want to start off by showing what does come in the kit. And actually, I'm going to pull the kit that this card came from. So let's open this up. Oh, I need my glasses. <laughs> oh, looky. Now I can almost, oh, it's up at the top. I can almost see what I'm doing. Okay, let's open it up. Now, we currently already have 16 Dot & Do kits that we've released earlier in previous um, YouTubes. This is the next collection, and we have four that are Christmas, and then three that are in kind of these beautiful peachy color schemes and then three that are in a completely different. I'll show them all to you and we have samples for everything. But what is a dot and do kit? Well, first off, let's just pull it all out. First off, it's a sheet of punch outs. These are die cut already punched out. That means if you're a new crafter, you don't have to have anything besides tweezers, some pop dots. These are, I think, $1.50. Whole big stack of them. 940 of them for $1.50. Tweezers, I happen to have my own fussy tweezers for $2.99 and some adhesive. This is Stacy tape. You can use whatever adhesive. If you have these and this, that's all you need. That's why traveling with it is so wonderful. That's why having, if you just need an easy craft and, and, and you want it, you want to take it to another level, great. But if you don't, if you're sitting in front of the TV because you can't be in your craft room all day, and I don't understand why you can't be in your craft room all day, I mean, you would think that we could just do a 
a, a, a Samantha from um, <laughs> Bewitched and go ee, 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 with our nose. I actually did that. Let me tilt up. I know you can't see me, but when I talk, I talk with my hands. While I was talking to you, I actually went ee, 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 with my nose because gosh, if we could all be in our craft room all day and do ee, 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 and somebody else did the laundry and somebody else did the grocery shopping and somebody else cleaned the house. Well, heck, you could play all day, but we have to be real. <laughs> That doesn't always happen, <laughs> probably never happens, but this is a great craft to put in front of the TV set when you're spending time with family. It's a great craft to take traveling with you because again, if you have these and you have one kit, you're good to start crafting. You don't need anything else. So what comes in it? Well, first off, you've got your die cut sheet. And all of these are punched out, so you don't have to fussy cut them or anything. And there's three different um, decoupage elements on this sheet. This is one, this is two, this is three. That means this sheet is going to make three cards. It's going to make one card, two card, three card. Then they give you all the things you need to make them look fabulous. Inside the kit, you get three pieces of beautiful linen paper. And can you see that there's a pattern printed on them? Look at this one. Can you see that there's a pattern printed on them? That pattern is the exact pattern that is on this card here. And that is why you don't have to worry about how are you gonna figure out how to put all those little pieces in place? Um, they tell you, then they give you all of those little stickers to go with. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use these. They give you envelopes and they give you the card bases. So all you have to do is score this in half and that is what made this card base. You don't even have to provide your own card bases. They're given to you. Then on top of that, they give you a piece of backing paper. Now I would not throw this away, not in a million years, because this is this paper right here. I would certainly keep this. This is a beautiful piece of cardstock. And maybe you want to mat some of your things and you've got this beautiful piece and there's one in every, I think there's different colors of them, but one in every kit. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to start with, not the envelopes, don't need those. I think I'm going to start with these. And I think I'm going to start with the one that I showed you first. So these are really the elements that you need to make this work. And like I said, they give you a little pattern here and that's your cheat sheet and first before I do anything I'm going to start by popping out so let me put these right over here I'm going to start by popping out my little decoupage pieces so no scissors needed at all none no scissors needed this is number one and you will see at the top, I don't know if it'll zoom in, there's a number one. Now I need to pop out my number two. And right here, it's gonna tell you number two. So I'm gonna pop that right on out. Again, no scissors, you just kind of have to pull it away from the paper. It has little nibbies and they're gonna pop right off. Can't get my fingers in there. There we go. It's kind of like connect the dots. Okay, do I have it all? There we go, let's pop that guy out. Okay, number two. So now I have one and two. And what I want you to notice 
is this area right here is the exact area this is. So what am I going to do with these little pieces? I'm going to turn them over and remember those little dots that I showed you, these tiny little blue dots, pop dots? They're dimensional, so they've got a little bit of foam in there. But they're small, small, small. So I can take them and put one here and, oh, I'm not going to need my scissors, I'm going to need my tweezers. And put one here. Now if I were doing this at home, I would be using quite a few of these. I would be putting them just about everywhere because it gives more stability to the paper and it helps keep it dimensional and you are making your own dimensional sticker. Now for those of you who have been around for a long time, you may remember Jolie's. They're still around. Those were dimensional stickers and you paid like $4.99 for a pack of them and they were themed. Now you're gonna make your own dimensional stickers and I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm just pulling off the top piece to the pop dot. Top piece to the pop dot. And like I said, on the, gosh, I wonder if you guys just heard my tumbling growl. My tummy just growled. We'll see, have to see how sensitive the, um, the <laughs> volume is. There the speaker or the microphone on my camera is if it picks it up. Okay, so I've now taken and put And I can now turn it over and I'm just going to line it up right on top, exactly on top of what is already there. So you don't have to guess. You're just going to line it straight up on top of what's already there, thereby giving you your first layer. I don't know if that's going to zoom in your first layer of dimension. Now, I have, oh, these are extra, look at that. You can make pretty little things with that. Now I'm gonna go to three, my number three. And I'm gonna pop out my number three, like I popped out my number two. Kind of play connect the dots so you can see what pops out. until it comes out. One last one to go. There we go. Pull it out. Now again, oh, left a little piece in there. Again, this piece is going to layer right on top of what I've already done. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna put my little glue dots right on it. Or pop dots they are. And you want the dimensional pop dots. You need them to be pop dots. If you try to just put it with flat, you lose the element of the dimension. The idea is that these are a dimensional embellishment. It's decoupage, but not the kind of decoupage that we think of here in the United States. This is decoupage in Europe, which is paper layering. The decoupage we think of here in the US is using Maj Paj and taking a balloon when you were in elementary school and blowing up that balloon and then tissue papering it and Maj Pajing it and making it a little, we made a Halloween basket. Some people made Easter baskets, but most people think of decoupage as using some sort of a Maj Paj. And in Europe, it is paper layering, but they do it. They do, and they usually fussy cut, which means that you hand cut each individual element out. Could you imagine fussy cutting this piece? Oh, no, no, no. When I talked to Find It Trading, I said, um, we don't fussy cut so much like that over in the US. We would need these to punch right out. 
And thankfully, Remco said, of course we can make them punch right out for you. Easy peasy. <laughs> he actually said, easy peasy. <laughs> said, you've been watching my YouTubes, haven't you? <laughs> So I'm taking off the little top layers to expose the sticky on my pop dots. And then I'm going to layer it right on top of the sticker or the embellishment that I've already started. So I'm going to turn this around so I can see it. And I'm going to layer this right on top, giving another layer to my finished product. Let's move this one over just a little bit. Move that one right there and put that one right there. Give a nice little press. And now you can see the dimension is building. Let's see if I can try and get it to zoom in. You can see the dimension is building. By every layer of paper that I stack on top. Now they have given me all of these little ones that I can pop out and layer on top. So let's pop this one out. This is, it says number four down there. This one is gonna fit right there. Let's grab a pop dot. Turn it over. I would probably use two or three pop dots just for stability. For time's sake though, I'm only going to do one and I'm going to lay that one right there. And then they gave me this one and take a pop dot and put it on and take the sticky off. I could continue. They've given me all of these little flowers. All these little flowers are intended to be popped out and popped up to give you as much dimension as you can. Now you're going to ask, can I mail these? Well, it depends upon how thick the pop dots you use are. They will go through. They're going to get smooshed a little bit, but the pop dots that we're using um, generally will re-expand after it's been out of the envelope. So can you mail them? Yes. Would I probably have them hand stamped? Yes, because they are beautiful when you give them. I wouldn't want you to not mail. Okay, so I did that one. I did that one. Let's put this one on here. And I could just continue to pop out my little flowers and keep building away. Oh, see this one? This little flower fits there. This one adds dimension right there. So maybe that's where I want to add it. You have options. You can add as many of the little flowers or as few as you want. I'll tell you, the, if you add them all, it really, really does look simply beautiful when it's all done. It is absolutely gorgeous. So now I've added dimension there. And you can see the height being built with those pop dots. You can see the height. But now what do you do with it? I think I'm not going to add any more. I'm going to let it go. Now what do you do with it? Well, that's where, that's where this comes in. That's where the cute little white card with that weird printing on it comes in. And how do you use that? Well, I'm going to bring these over closer to me. How do you use that? Well, first off, they give you three different printings. So the card pack that you're going to get, the kit that you're going to get, has three different cards. Remember, I told you that there's one, two, three cards to be made. One two, 
three cards to be made. And you can choose if you want to put this one here, or if you want to put it here, or if you want to put it there. Which, which card you want to put your embellishment on your 3D decoupage, that's really up to you. But how do you figure out what these little lines mean, all the little squigglies in there? How do you know? Well, I have to tell you, they were very, very clever at Find It Trading. They gave you what are called peel-offs, and that's what these are, peel-off stickers. They are a sticker. Now, I'm going to tell you the easiest way for me. See, can you see all of those on there? They give you so much. The easiest way for me, the very first thing I do, is I peel the backing off. I peel the backing off and I just gently pull. Now I may lose some stickers by doing this. Oh, see I just lost that one there. But I'm willing to lose a few stickers because I know I've got more than enough to do what I need to do. Pull, 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 pull. And I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this just so you can see. Now if I wanted to, I could go in and the ones that I lost, I could grab and just put right down on my sheet. But for me, it is easier to see this. And actually maybe I'll pull down just a little bit further and cut. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna pull down a little bit further and cut again. And I know that some of you are gonna keep this that I'm cutting off and you're gonna make something fabulous out of this. You're going to use this as an embellishment somewhere. But for me, it is easier to see this than it is to try and see this. So I always take the backing off when I'm starting. That way I can see what I have to work with. Now, you've got four different colors here. How are you going to know which dot goes where? Okay, they took care of that for you as well. If you look at the pattern, there's individual shapes, all those little individual shapes. But this shape here is only going to be in one of these colors. You're not going to find the, like this little star shape. You're not gonna find this little star shape on the gold and the copper and the silver, you're only going to find it in one place. It's either going to be on the gold, on the silver, on the copper, or on the green. They didn't put it in two on two sticker sheets, so then you have to guess, well, what color is it supposed to be? Copper, silver, it's on both sheets. No, you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is find the right sticker on these sheets, and that's going to be the only sticker. So this little big giant C, this little big C, well little big, that's kind of contradictory, isn't it? <laughs> so is that an oxymoron? So this little, this little scroll right here, you're only going to find that scroll on the green. You're not gonna find that little scroll on any other color. So you're not guessing what it is you're trying to do. They've made it easy for you. And you only have these four sheets to work from. And these four sheets are going to do all of the cards, the three cards that come in the kit. Oh, these little tiny ones are teeny tiny. Maybe I should pull from the other side. I'm gonna pull from the other side first. Will you need readers? Well, if you're my age, yes. <laughs> if you're in your 20-somethings or 30-somethings. No, you probably can see these without too much problem. Okay, so I'm pulling up my background. And for me, it's easier to see. And I'm just gonna cut that right off. And again, I know some of you would take this because it's a sticker and you would do something fabulous with it. I'm gonna put mine right there. And I'm going to move these over to the side. And I'm going to grab some of my little C's. So here's 
my, now you can see the C's much better. I'm going to grab them one of those little C's with my tweezers and I'm just going to line it right up on the C that's on here and put it right down. And then I grab my another one and put it right down because I know that's the right color because I know there's no other color in, or no other, no other sticker that looks like that anywhere on these four sets that they gave me. So I know that I can just go right in there and put it right down, cover up the, the pattern so nobody knows that there was a pattern underneath it and just keep going. So let's do all the C's on this side. And this is why you need the tweezers to help you hold on to them. Oh, I stuck that one right to me. And you just, I take and do all the same shape at the same time. So I would do all the C's on both sides at the exact same time. Have I done all the C's? I missed one. Okay, all my C's, my green C's are now, they're all now done. Easy to do. Now let's see, I've got stars. Where are my stars? Well, the only place there's stars is on your silver. Only place that there's stars. So I'm going to grab that background. And please know they do give you more than enough of, of the stickers to do. You'll have leftovers, honestly. So I'm going to take my stars. Okay, well, I just pulled the whole thing off. That way you can see the whole thing. That's so much easier for me to see. And let's do my stars. So I'm going to grab my first star with my tweezers and line it on up my on my on my design. Take my next star and line it on up on my design and take my next star. And the way I'm getting these off is that I do a slight bend. And then you can see, can you see that the little pieces pop up? See those little pieces? So all I did was do a very slight bend. It's called the bend and snap. <laughs> That's what I named it from Legally Blonde because when you bend your paper back, the pieces snap up and then you're able to grab them easier with your tweezers. And it doesn't matter if you need to bend and snap all the way down here. Um, okay, so this piece here, see these big half moons? If I need to bend and snap, I just bend my paper back right so that it's right on the top of where I want them to pop and then poof they all just kind of pop up and it makes grabbing them so much easier with your tweezers and so I need one of those moons here call it the bend and snap and I need a moon here I didn't finish my stars and I need a moon here no oh, I've got a helicopter flying over us today that's never good move my little moon over just a bunch just a tad just move you a little bit so did you see I picked up my moon. I put it in the wrong place. I put one of my moons in the wrong place. You have time to go back and pull it up and put it in the right place. Now I forgot to finish my stars. So I'm just going to go back and put another star here and another star here. So with the foundation that they've given you from Find It, 
This is the foundation. They've given you the base to work with. You can do exactly as they show you and don't add anything more to it. And by the time you're done, this that I've started will look like this. All of those colors will be put in. Let's see, the green. Let's grab the green real quick. And it's got those big commas. Oh, there are the big commas. Pull down just a little bit more. There are the big commas. Cut off. So see, see though, it's almost like a paisley. And can you see that I need two of them one, two, and then two on the other side. Now, I don't see I don't see any other big paisleys anywhere else. And yet, so so far, all I need is four. For all three cards, all I need is four of those paisleys. But look at how many they gave me. They gave me two full rows when all I needed was four. So you know that you're going to have extra. It's okay. If you lose a few because you decide to pull your backing off, don't worry about it. They've given you so many. I'm doing my little bend and snap. Ah, this is, they give you left and rights. <laughs> So I need one that goes the right direction. Come on, bend and snap. There we go. So now I've got my little paisleys there. And I just keep adding. Let's put some of those rosy color in just so we have some of the rosy color. Got a couple diamonds are rosy. Let's see, rosy, rosy, rosy. Is the little flourish rosy? Yes, the little flourish is rosy. Okay, so the little rose gold ones. Let's peel off my backing. Oh, I want to start from this side. You're asking why am I starting? Okay, so see how small those little dots are? Can you see how small those little dots are? They're teeny, teeny, tiny. I mean, they're really small. So I'm going to pull from this side first because this has got bigger elements. So I lose less as I'm pulling down. See, I lose less. And then when I get to those really little tiny ones, I'm going to lose more. But you should have more than enough. And if you wanted to, you could go in and pop them out of here. I am not going to do that. But the little flourishes. So I've got little flourishes. And I'm going to do my little bend and snap. Pick it up. Put it right where it tells me to. Pick it up. Put it right where it tells me to. Easy peasy. Pick it up. Put it right where it tells me to. Pick it up. And put it right where it tells me to. So again, I would do all of one color, one shape for the whole card before I moved on. But I kind of wanted to give you an idea. It's starting to fill in. And you just keep going until you're happy. And then you've got this beautiful piece here that you can mount in the center, whichever way you want it. You want it this way, mount it that way. You want your card to be horizontal, you want your card to be vertical. You have options. But then you also have options as to what to do with the card. The card right now is just plain white. 
they have to make it plain white so they can print on it. And of course you're going to use, you're going to use your bone folder or your scoring tool to score this, unlike me. Because then you're going to mount, that's what your basic adhesive is for. And then you've got here, or here, and your card is basically done. Easy, but what if you wanted to do more? What if you didn't want to keep it just white? Okay, there are lots and lots and lots of options for you, and they're all easy to do as well, but maybe you forgot about them. Gosh, the first thing that I can do is, if I lay this here, maybe I want to add a little bit of a background to it. Maybe I want to add just a little bit of a background to it. And what do I mean by that? I want to add a color wash to add just a little bit of color and take out some of that white. Now to do that, there's a couple different ways. I can use um, inks, I can use markers, I can use, there's, there's a couple different ways of doing that. Let me start with just doing it. Um, let's, let's add a little bit of like a very soft blue wash behind it. And what that's going to do is give a little bit of depth and a little bit of dimension to your card. So I've got a Tombow marker and I'm going to scribble, scribble, scribble right there. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And I have got an inexpensive flat paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to get some water and I'm going to water this down. I'm going to water it down and make a paint out of it. water it down and make a paint. Now you may want to just have a piece of scratch paper by you because then you can see is that as light as the color I want? Do I want it lighter than that? If you want it lighter than that, add more water to it. And what happens is you go in and you can do a little bit of a wash behind and you just kind of move that paint around what was a marker is now paint. You just kind of move it around. And then if you really want to blend it out, you can blend it out just by adding straight water. All I'm doing is taking straight water and kind of blending it out so that I don't have any hard rough edges and giving it very, very much a watercolory look. So very watercolory. Now you're not going to see most of this because when I put this back on top, it's taken that stark, stark white and it's eased it up a little bit. You could do your whole card. You could wash your whole card with a color just to take away a little bit of that stark white. Here I just added a little bit of a blue. So when you see those beautiful cards and it's got that shadowing to it, a little bit of a background, what they've done is a color wash to make it pop a little bit more. It just softens it. So that's one thing that you can do to take this up a notch and make it a little bit more of your own. What else can you do? Well, Gosh, let's grab, let's grab another one. What else can you do? Um, in the last YouTube, I used, I used Nuvo Diamond Hybrid ink pads. I like them because they're small. I like them because it's a hybrid, which means that you can, it doesn't, it doesn't um, move it's not like a it's not like a a Tim Holtz ink where it's meant to move with water. This gives you options. I like the hybrid. It's not like a memento either where a memento doesn't give you many options. You stamp with it. You can't blend a memento at all. Here you've got kind of the best of both worlds. Now they only make they only make four sets. But I like that their color coordinated and so and, and they're, they're affordable so if you're not a big inker and you don't have a lot of stamps and you don't want to spend a lot of money for ink pads this is a way to get colors that are going to work well with each other that are not too big you're not spending seven dollars a pad 
for an ink pad for a full size one. Really, all you need is a little one. And they're, like I said, they're affordable. It's a way to have a lot of colors for a little bit of money. I guess that's what I was trying to get out. So I'm going to open this one. And I think I'm going to take the green. Okay, well, we'll just open it all. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm going to take the green. Okay, so it's a felt tip. It's not foam, it's a felt tip. And there's, they're very juicy. They are very juicy. I'm also gonna take a finger dauber, one of the Simply Refined finger daubers. And I'm going to edge my card. Now, can you do this with other inks besides Nuvo? Absolutely. Can you do this with a memento? You can. It's not as soft as you would like. Can you do it with a Tim Holtz Distress? Sure you can. Absolutely. Can you do it with a Prima ink? Yes. Or a Lawn Fawn ink? Yes. You don't have to have these. This is just a nice little collection of 12 colors that gives you an opportunity to have a nice range without spending too much. The mementos are gonna come in kind of dark. You need to be very, very careful, which is one of the reasons why I'm not using them. So, on my finger dauber, and I'm gonna start off my page, off my ink, or off my white, and on my craft mat, and I'm just gonna blend in. Oh, I just blended right over. And I'm just gonna blend in. And I'm just gonna do a soft edge just a soft edge. With Memento, this would be a much darker edge and you don't want you you don't want it to be too dark. It's kind of like cooking. You can always add color, but you can't take it away. You can always add more garlic, but once you've got it too garlicky when you're garlicky, when you're making a pot of spaghetti, it's very hard to pull that garlic back out. So if you start with inks that allow you to kind of start on a light tone, you can come back and add if you want it to be darker and more substantial, or you can leave it just the way it is. But if you start with an ink that's going to be dark from the get-go, you're never going to be able to lighten it up. I am just doing the edges. So I just made it very soft around the outside just to add a little something to it. Just a little something. Like I said, can I go in there and make them darker? Sure, if I want my corners to be much darker, which will give you even more of a depth to your card. I can go in there and make my corners a little bit darker. And again, that's going to add even more depth to your card and all I've done is ink and these are finger daubers. A lot of companies sell finger daubers, they do. We brought out finger daubers because we were able to get them at such a wonderful price. We sell them, you get 20 finger daubers for $9.99, which is, it's a Simply Refined product, which is a wonderful, wonderful deal. Or you can get 40 with the case for $23.99. And again, these prices are lower than you'll find anywhere else. And we only brought them in because lots of places do finger daubers. There's nothing different from my finger dauber to um, Imagine Crafts finger daubers or Stampin' Up's finger daubers. They're all the same finger dauber. We were just able to get them at such a wonderful price that we could pass the savings on to you. So now I've got that darker edge and I could add that. And what a difference that makes. It was just on plain white, but then we took the plain white and we added a little bit of blue. Now what if we took this one 
and we wanted to add our finger dauber. Well, we could, absolutely. Kind of start off on your craft mat or your, your scratch paper or whatever it is and just blend it right on in. Just blend it right on in. And I do not have a finger dauber for every single ink pad I own. I have a finger dauber for color families. So this is my olive green leafy finger dauber. And I will, regardless of whose inks I'm using, I will use this finger dauber for the inks that are in this color family. I don't need to have one for every different ink pad I have. I'm just not that girl, you know, because once you, once you rub it off, you're good to go with another green. It's fine. It will be fine. Okay, so now, now I've done my blue wash. And my green. And I finish it all up, which looks, it's going to look dramatically different than this one. Now maybe you love the plain one just the way it is. Maybe that is perfect for you and you are a beginning crafter and you want to do just like this. It's okay. Go ahead. Maybe you don't have everything to do this yet, but you want to play. However, if you're a little more experienced, I know you have some of this stuff in your arsenal already. I know. <laughs> and you can take it to the next level. You can. But then, what if we wanted to add a little something something here. Okay, I can do that too because maybe you want it to have a little extra something on it. All right, I've got my stay put, my Simply Defined Stay Put glue. And this glue is strong. It's a lovely glue, but a little goes a long way. I'll put a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to just kind of dab into a few places on my dab into a few places not too heavy just want to dab because again you can always add more but it's harder to take away and I mean there's not much glue on there and with these I would rather dab with my fingers and then I'm going to take, I don't know what color, I'm going to take my WOW glitter. And I don't know what color I like best. Maybe we'll do a little bit of, and I'm going to open my WOW glitter. Now, why am I using my WOW glitter? One, because they come in blends. I love the blends. This is kind of gold and coppery. Two, it's priced economically. You, you, you use very, very little and it makes such an impact. Three, I don't want to use a microfine glitter with this. Why not a microfine glitter? Because normally I'm playing with microfine glitter. Why don't I want to use a microfine glitter? Because it's too fine. I need to have some of this be a little chunky. I need to see that bling because I'm using so little of it. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then you can go in there and you can move that glitter around a little bit. And I just wanted a little, tap, 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 a little bit of a sparkle. Not a lot. I didn't want it to take over. I didn't want it to be glittery everywhere, but I wanted a little bit of a sparkle and I have a little, little bit less on this one and a little bit more on that one. And if I wanted, I could come in with my tweezers and I could get rid of a little bit of this if I didn't want so much and just scratch it right off and pull it right off. Or I could take my glue and I could add just a little bit and add just a little bit more to that one. And you can see I'm using the back of my tweezers to go in there because you use just so little of it. And tap, tap, tap. 
and now I've got a little bit more on that one and it just adds enough not a lot but enough so that it takes it up to the very very next level so I could have left it heck for that matter you don't even have to do all of these if you don't want to shucks by the time you put that on if you didn't even want to do all of the little um, peel off stickers for the decoration you don't have to and what if I wanted to do my let's see what that's gonna look like what if I wanted to do my wash kind of in the color that my what if I want to do my wash in the color of my, I could do that with my pen. And I could go in there and add water, 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 water. See if I've got it to a color that makes me happy. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Go in and Okay, so I'm going to kind of just paint just kind of around. No, no real rhyme or reason. I'm not being overly careful. Make a nice little circle and then I'm going to go straight to my water. And I'm going to kind of smudge those edges out. Just kind of smudge them out. just so it has a pretty watercolor effect. And if it's not as dark as you want, well then add more color. Gosh, I think I will. I think I'm gonna add a little more color and go a little bit further. And these are the Tombow markers. Can you do it with Tim Holtz Distress Markers? Yes, absolutely. Can you use um, Memento markers? Yes, if you water them enough. more. Just kind of get that out. Okay. Then I can put that on there and I've got my wash. I could wash the whole thing. I bet that would look good. I bet if I didn't, if I didn't want to do my little my little dot and do's and I wanted to just leave them blank. Maybe I'm in a time crunch and I just wanted to leave them blank. I could do a wash on the whole card. and just color the whole background. Even though I've already got the green down, it's fine. Got a little wet, but that's okay, it'll dry. And now I've changed the entire look of the card. Totally changed the entire look of the card. But I've got that little bit of glitter pop right there right on the flowers, just a little bit of glitter pop. It's really, I, I don't know which one you like better, but you have lots of options. What if I decided to take and do my edges? Do my edges in my green, but what if I decided to do my center in my green too, just with my finger dauber? What if I don't have Tombow markers or Tim Holtz markers? What if all I have are my, my inks? Okay, well, let's go in there and let's do a little bit of a green. Let's place this just so I can see how far, oh yeah, I need to go much more.
What if I wanted to do that? Because I don't have tumble markers. Okay, go for it. Because when I put it on, all you're looking for is that hint of color behind just to give a little bit more dimension. Just a little bit more dimension. And now that I've got my little glitter there, what if, can you see all of these what ifs? What if I wanted to take my copper paint pen? This is a deco color. It's the premium deco color by Marvy. They come in copper, they come in gold, they come in silver. Copper is my favorite. It is a paint pen. And that means that when you get it, this nib is completely white. There's no ink in it at all. And you have to press, I don't want to press into my green, that would not be good. You have to press to get the paint down. You've got to give it a good shake, and then you have to press to release that paint. And it may take a little time for gravity to feed it on down before you have that paint, that whole nib completely filled. The most important thing to know about these paint pins is how to hold them and use them. See that beautiful chiseled edge? It's lovely. It's a beautiful chisel edge. You want to keep that chisel edge as chiseled as possible, which means you don't go straight and press down. You go at an angle and glide across. Not straight and press down to go across. You go at an angle and you glide across. And that's going to keep that beautiful chiseled edge from getting all frayed and, and split. And, and what does it do? Well, let's just grab and go. So I'm going from side to side. And I'm just going to go straight across. And let me wipe that little piece up so I will do it again on the back of my card, which is no big deal. And then let's go straight across. Now, some people like to hold a ruler to it. You know what? This is a handmade card. I just go. If I'm a little thin in an area, I'll go back and add a little bit, but I just go. Go for it. And let's go ahead and do my top. And you see how I'm gliding across? I'm not holding my chisel upright. I'm not holding my chisel upright. I'm gliding down. And that is going to keep that nib as beautiful as the day you bought it. And you want to keep it as beautiful as the day you bought it because these pins go a really long way. Okay, so, and if it stops giving you ink, shake it and give a soft press down and that will release ink. And then you can go again and from the side and glide. From the side and glide. Anytime you're using a paint pen, from the side and glide. I'm doing it from the side of the pin and I am gliding. Now I've added a beautiful, beautiful copper edge, which then matches the beautiful glitter that I used from WOW to just add a little bit of something. And you need that, that, that glitter that's not a micro fine. It's got to have some chunkies to it because you're using so little of it. You need those chunkies to catch the light. If you use a micro fine glitter, it lays very, very flat and it doesn't have quite the zing as, um, as a glitter that's got a little bit of chunkies in it. But how pretty is that? And then I could put it on my card base. Look at all the options you have. And they're all affordable and they're all wonderful and you will be successful. And I haven't even started to put my little, I haven't even started to put my little blings on them yet. I could still do all my little blings and even make it that much more. Bring this one back. Put it on there. 
put it here. What if I wanted to add the copper to my card base? I could just take my card base and do the same thing. Give a good shake, a little press to get it started, and from the side and glide. From the side and glide. And what if I wanted to put that little copper edge just on the edge? Just to add one more little element. It's not adding in the height. Just one little copper edge just on the side. How pretty, well, I could do the whole card, but how pretty is that? Easy to do. Easy to do. And then you just take it and tape everything down. I don't know which one I like the best though. I like that one. I don't know which one I like the best. So I'm not gonna tape them, any of them down. This is Dot and Do, and they've given you everything that you need to just make beautiful things. And then they've given you a foundation to let you take it up to whatever level you want and add. And again, the Nouveaux, I like the Nouveaux mainly because the size, the price, and they're multi-faceted. Could I use these to stamp? I could ink up a stamp? Absolutely. And stamp with it? Yes. You saw it in YouTube number 251 where I used it with my mono printing. Easy to do. They're a nice ink. It works. Okay, so there's this one. Gosh, I wonder if I should, I don't even know if I wanna pull out the purple because they're so darn pretty. No, I think I'm gonna take the rose out of this one since I've already got the colors going. So again, you've got three cards per kit. Three cards per kit. And you always start with the number one. Pop that out. Pop that out. Then let's get number two. Pop that out. And now I will put them together. Before I move to number three, I'm gonna put my number two on my number one. So I'm gonna turn my number two over. I'm gonna grab a couple glue dots. No, they're not glue dots, they're pop dots. I've got glue dots on the brain. I wonder if that's a sign. <laughs> okay, my little pop dots. And let's put one more on this one. Now I again would use, you get 940 of these little pop dots for $1.50. So most people go to town and put them all over, which you can with 940. It's okay, you can use more than a few. And the more you use, the more stable it is. It helps keep the paper popped high and without folding. Okay, I'm gonna lay my number two right on top of my number one. If I don't get it exactly straight, I've got time. There we go. So I've started my first. Now I'm gonna pop out number three. Well, this is an easy one. I started with the hardest one first. So here's my number three. My number three is just the rose itself. Number three is just the rose itself. Put some of my pop dots on the back. Take off my Extra and on we go. And this is one of the leaves. It looks like this one. 
is down here. So let's add a pop to that. Just line it on up. Oh, I thought it was that. It is that one. Okay, line it on up. There we go. Put it down. And now my number four is the center of my rose. Pop it right on out. It is the actual center of the rose. And it's going to lay right there. Grab a couple of my pop dots. Oh, that's more than a couple. <laughs> That's a little mini. <laughs> and pull my tabbies off the back and line it on up. And I have now made my dimensional sticker, which then I could take, and this happens to be my favorite color of the wow. It's called your carriage awaits. That just makes my heart happy. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to take a little bit of my, my stay put glue. And do you have to use stay put? No. What glue do you have? Almost any glue is going to work. The idea though is to use little. Less is more. So I'm not going to go in there with a, with a, um, a glue pen. I want to just kind of tap it. I don't want it too much, but I want a little bit. And I love the my carriage of weights. Where's my little? Hmm. Well, let's use this one for right now. And let's tap on some of my carriage of weights. It's this beautiful white, but not white. It's kind of got um, a cream color to it, which I think is why I like it so much because it's not stark white. Oh, yay. Okay. I don't know if you can see. It's not stark white. It's got kind of an accru color to it. But look at how pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Can you see the glitter? It's not a lot. It's not meant to be blinged unless you really want it blinged, but it's so simple and so, and it just adds a little bit of pop. So then I'm gonna put these, I can put this right back in. You can see a little goes a really long way. And then I can pull this one over here. And instead of having the one we originally started, now I can put this one in the center with a little bit of glitter. Or I can put it on, ooh, and put it on this one. And I get more background cards. I could be doing this all on a green card. I think the leaves hide in that one too much. So I think it's probably gonna look better Oh yeah, see that's beautiful. Soft and elegant and sweet and pretty. And Stacy tape is all you need. Turn this on over. And take a piece of Stacy tape. It's double-sided adhesive. So I'm gonna put this down. And when I'm ready, I'm going to pull the liner off. You can see it's terrible. Not bad. It's really, really good, but it's rippable. You don't have to use scissors. And is it comparable to a, a score tape or a suk wing tape? Yes, it is, absolutely. I used to sell suk wing tape or score tape like crazy, but then the manufacturer came to me and said, gosh, Stacy, what if we could give you something that's a little bit longer, a little bit stronger, and a little bit more cost-effective for your customers? You could sell it for a little bit less money. Would that be something you're interested in? Well, how do you say no to that? So I didn't. <laughs> so if you've got score tape or uh, Suk Wang tape, it works beautifully, absolutely. This is just a little bit longer, a little bit stronger, and a little bit less money. Okay, 
So that I've got that on there. And I've got this. Now I could take this and I could add pop dots to this one if I wanted to. So that it pops off the card or I could do it flat to the card. It's really up to you. I think we'll pop this one off and we'll flatten this one. So let's get a little bit more of my tape. And I haven't even done any of the dots. I'm just making a card to make a card without doing the dots. And you don't even have to do all the dots. If you don't want to do all the dots, you can do some of the dots if you only want to do. Now I have to turn around so I can see what I'm doing. So there's that. And then let's see. Oh, have I made a mess? Holy smokes, artichokes. Okay, so let's see which one has the little flowers. Which one has the little flowers? Oh, there they are. So, see these flowers there? I'm just going to put the little flowers that belong there. One. Two. Three. Four, and then it had that really dark black dot in the middle of the flowers. So that tells me that I need to take another little dot somewhere, whichever dot makes your heart happy, and put one of these teeny little stickers in the center. Teeny little dot, oh, get in there, teeny little dot in the center to put the center of the flower. Okay, so as I said earlier, we have 16 kits already, and those are all being sold, uh, what we call open stock, which means you can buy them individually. The kits that we have today, we're doing on three different I Want It All bundles. So we've got the Christmas as an I Want It All bundle, and then we've got the different color story, two different color stories as I Want It All bundles. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Look at how fab is that. And I didn't even do the rest of it and it still looks really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now I wanna put the rest of them together but I won't do that well. I'll do that afterwards cause I'll take them down and use them as samples but I think that I can finish these with the, I think this one would look really good with the, um, I think that would look really good with the green card base. What do you think on the green? Don't you think that would make a beautiful card? It's different than what it's different than what they show you to do, but it's not so different that you can't do this yourself. You can do it absolutely monkey see, monkey do without question, or you can zhuzh it up just a little bit. All right, I have got oodles and oodles and oodles of samples to show you. I, I love the glitter on there. It's just a little touch of glitter. Okay, oodles and oodles and oodles of samples to show you. So I'm gonna push this out of my way and I'm gonna make this go up. And I'm going to put the lid on my paint pin before I get in trouble from Elena, who's, <laughs> who's in charge of making sure I have everything I need. God bless her. Oh, and here's the paint pin and it's gonna scratch right off my right off my craft mat. No worries, it's not gonna harm it, not one bit. Okay, so let me show you some of the samples that are in the first I Want It All. Okay, so we have the one that I started with, and I did, I added a little bit of glitter. 
So that's one, two, well it can go three or three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Now these were all done exactly the way they were intended. They weren't embellished up anymore. It's now up to you to see what you want to do with them. All of those nine cards are in the first I Want It All bundle, these three sets. So these three sets are going to make all of the nine cards I just showed you. And all you need to add to it, if you want to do exactly as they've shown you, is some tweezers, some adhesive, and some pop dots. And you're going to get the card bases, the envelopes, the decoupage, the stickers. You're going to get all of it. So you're going to be able to make all nine cards each set retails for, I think, $7.99. So $8, so $24. And then, of course, it's on a YouTube Yummy. So you'd be able to make all nine cards for, I think, $19.99. If it's 20% off of $25, that's $19.99. So what does that come down to? Five, two bucks a card, and they're beautiful. Oh no, I got this one wet. Oh, we're gonna have to remake that one for the sample board. Darn it, but they're beautiful. This is the first I Want It All bundle. This is the first color story. Then we have the next color story. It's also three kits. So the purples and the beautiful pinks. How happy is that? Again, each, each kit's gonna make three individual cards. This is I Want It All, this is an I Want It All bundle. And the cards are, and think of all the things, oh yeah, see I added a little bit of glitter to this one, just a little bit of glitter on that rose. Think about all the things that you can do with these if you want to take and explore your creativity. Think about all the things that you can add, the things you already own at home where you can take your markers and make a backwash or you can take your more chunky glitter and add a little bit of something to it or your paint pen and edge or your finger daubers with your inks and go in and add depth and dimension to them. Oh, doorbell. That's how we know there's a, little, a delivery. We put a doorbell in or USPS is here. They're beautiful. Oh, mailman. <laughs> I just heard him yell. <laughs> How pretty is this? And you can do this. You saw me do it. You saw that they give you the pattern. They give you the pattern. All you have to do is, it's like granimals. You just match them up. You match the right sticker shape with the right pattern. And you're good to go. Lastly, and I want to pull these out. Lastly, we have Christmas. And there are 
four sets in the I Want It All for Christmas. And this will be the only Christmas we do this year for Dot and Do. Four for Christmas. Each one makes three cards. That means you're getting 12 cards here. Aren't they so cute? Look at the birds. And they're all dimensional. And we haven't added any additional element. Boy, well, on some of them, I think I might have added some glitter. But you could really have fun with these. Take the silver, take the silver um, paint pen and go around it. You could have such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful elements that you add and make it your own. And that way you feel like it's your own. I would do the color wash. I like adding a little more color. I like having the edges inked out to add the dimension. Several people, several of the girls downstairs like it more white with the white because they feel it pops more. Which do you like? Do you like the popping or do you like the warm? Because to me, this is a little more, this is a little more warm, and this is a little more happy. Which one do you like the best? You have options. You don't have to choose. You can do both. You can do some with a little more detail, a little more creativity added to it, and you can do some just the way they are. So pretty. All of these cards, you're going to be able to make all of these cards, all of them. They all are in the Christmas kit, all of them. And we're doing them now so that you will have time to get them and make them. And this will be the only set of Christmas dot and do that we do this year. Think about doing it with kids because there is no scissors involved. No scissors involved, some tweezers and some adhesive. It's a kid-friendly, senior-friendly craft. Oh my goodness gracious, if you have to do a craft for your seniors, what a lovely one to do. And then they can take their card and give it to somebody. But it's something that they can accomplish because the design is there. They'll need their readers. <laughs> but they can do this just as is. And they're so pretty. So those are the dot and do's. We also have the wow embossing powder is going, or I'm sorry, the wow glitter is gonna be on sale. All the wonderful colors that I was playing with. I love, love, love. See, your carriage awaits. It's not white. You have um, a girl's best friend is white, and bridal is white, but I like the softness of this. It seems to go over everything just beautifully. I also really like thistle. Thistle just looks gorgeous on everything. So we've got the glitters. We've got the nouveaux that are going to be on a YouTube yummy. We've got the glitters that are gonna be on a YouTube Yummy. I'm not gonna put the Tombow markers on a YouTube Yummy because I think most of you already probably have markers, Tombows that will work or your Distress inks or try your mementos. Just get them really, really wet and take a piece of paper and play with that before you go onto your card. So we've got, oh, and I, we'll, do the, we'll do the Marvies, the deco paints, the premium paint pins, and there's a silver one too. All of this will be on the YouTube Yummy. Your Dot and Do kits will be on a YouTube Yummy. And I hope that you see that by, even though it's a kit, even though it's a kit, you have options. You always have options if you wanna be creative. It's amazing with just some simple ink, simple ink, a simple paint pen. You may already have glitter. How you can take it to a whole new level. All right, I'm gonna tilt up. And I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna tilt back. Woo!
<laughs> back a little more. I'm gonna say it's me, Stacy. It's scrapbooking made simple. Where are you gonna get all this great product? Well, for the Dot and Do kits, they are exclusive here to Scrapbooking Made Simple, so you're only going to get them from us at a value price. And I think I have the price right. If I don't, the price will be right when they're online, trust me. Then we have the, the daubers as well are exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. So those are our finger daubers for that price. 20 for $9.99 is a whopping deal. And again, I know places that are selling all 40 daubers in the case for $49.99, ours is $23.99. Even when they put them on sale, I think it comes down to $29.99. Ours is $23.99 and I, a dauber is a dauber is a dauber. I, they're all the same. So there's nothing special or unique about ours except for the price point. Okay, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next week when we will announce winner, winner, chicken dinners from the YouTubes that I missed. Bye. Have a good one.